gentlemen, this is um, an overview of my can analyzing stuff on my Zoe. Um, let's have a look here. Here's a cable plugged in the uh, console and it is, as you can see, actually a T cable. So I can actually sniff on what's going on when you connect, for instance, an um, iCarsoft or like I have here, I haven't connected it, an, um, an ELM device, which we'll talk about in another video. Then the sniffer itself is here. I've posted a few pictures of that earlier. Um, inside here is a Arduino Due. It's running um, Colin Kidder's uh, GV Red software, which is basically just seeing everything that's going on on the bus and pushing it out in binary format over this um, USB cable that goes into my laptop. It can do a lot more things. Um, it can send frames and stuff like that. And actually that's what we're doing too. So I can not only listen, I can also manipulate. It's very fast. It captures all 16 to 1700 frames a second that the Zoe is actually blasting out. This goes into my uh, very unsophisticated, non-GUI, oh, you see me reflected here, uh, my non-GUI C program here running on Ubuntu. Let me fire it up. What it does, it reads the uh, USB stream, decodes the binary format, and then does all kind of nifty things with it. As you can see, let me, let me run you through it. In the top half of the screen, are frames that we know what's going on. Um, this is all what I like to call free frames. It's just traffic on the bus. And we do little nice things like, see the top left uh, number, the uh, position of the steering wheel, things like speed, odometer. Um, actually, I can prove that if you give me a second. There is my odometer, you see it? And it has exactly the same number, 30880, that you can see over here. So, you know, I'm not faking. Underneath here are frames that we do not know, or well, at least they're not in the, in the program yet, what to do with it. Um, interesting stuff here. You see bytes moving continuously. And we just don't know yet what it is and maybe we do. And then there are frames that we can, and those are actually the most um, interesting frames, the frames that we can query, that we actually query the EQs that are in the in the car. Um, for demonstration purposes, I just display one, it's over here. It is, the, the, the 7EC is an answer frame to a request to the EVC, and we request it with, um, a request that is in an ISOTP frame 2234. Yeah, that's it. No, it's actually the LCB. Um, what maximum power can we power the uh, the battery? Can we charge the battery? And right at this moment, as the battery is pretty full, um, I think it's like it's it's like you can see that here in the free data streams. It's 86% full, it will charge at a maximum of 25 kilowatts. Um, if I would drive around a little bit, if it's below, let's say, 70%, this would go full up to 40 kilowatts. Not 43, you say, no 40, because there is losses in the charging process. Or maybe we didn't get the factoring right, that's possible. So, non-GUI works absolutely fantastic for analyzing stuff. I plug in the um, iCarsoft, uh, start start fiddling around and immediately you see stuff happening here and uh, figure it out. Um, the um, the uh, the companion can bus, uh, um, 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 sorry, um, um, Savvy can, the companion for, for uh, GVRED, that Colin Kidder wrote, um, has uh, different properties, is easier to use, is uh, has a lot of filtering stuff going on. Um, um, it, it, is, it comes in more handy when you actually have 
some more insight about what's 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 going on this is really the raw hexadecimal stuff as you can see all right uh, that's it for now and i'll pop another one about the elm but to do that i need to reconfigure my hardware a little bit <laughs>